You've returned to the Electric Playground. We are on location at GDC 25. This is the 25th Game Developers Conference here in San Francisco. So many. And when I come here, I get to hang with my buddy Food Bar, which is always great. Thanks, Poops. Good to see you. And we're taking a trip back to the 90s with the DVD release of the first ever television show created entirely with CGI. That's right. We're about to step into mainframe with Reboot. Entry code. The core and mainframe are mine. Lots of love for Reboot. Every convention I go, I have people walking up asking me if I know any of the creators, are we going to have the creators on the show? And I'm glad that we're finally doing that because Shelf Factory is bringing your show back in DVD form. For the first time, yeah. The first two seasons have never been on DVD before. So they've packaged them up, they've got a two-season box set, and later we're going to do a four-season box set. Explain what the concept behind Reboot was and, and how the show kind of evolved into what we all fell in love with. We did a pop promo called Die Straits, Money for Nothing, which yeah. was all CGI. It was one of the first ever CGI promos. Very shortly afterwards, we came up with the idea, hey, we could do a show like this. But because it was so kind of weird looking and boxy and very primitive in terms of CG, the first question everybody hit us with was, why does it look so weird? So we very quickly came up with the idea that it looks like that because it's in a computer. You tell people that and they're like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's <laughs> stupid. Yeah. That was the concept. It was a show in CG set inside a computer and taking all the puns and all the terminology of computers and just bringing them to life in character form. A reboot was and always will be the first ever computer-generated television series. So that is that's our little, little bit of history, our little niche in history there. Enzo, you're looking a little pale. You must have some horror stories. I mean, when you're trailblazing. <laughs> there were times when we thought we'd never get it done. ABC, bless them, we ran out of episodes very quickly, and they did us a favor in that they, they didn't mind. They just said, look, deliver when you can. We'll run what we've got. We'll go into reruns. We don't care. We know it's early, but we're going to do it because we believe in the show. That was almost 17 years ago. Oh my God. What's it like to look back at your work now in 2011 standards? I looked at uh, season four recently, and it still kind of holds up, you know? If you're telling a good story uh, with good characters, you could draw it in crayon and pull it off. Just because it's produced in, you know, 2011 technology doesn't make it better than something that was produced in, you know, 2005 technology or earlier. I know I have lots of fans of the show that want me to ask this. Is there a possibility for more reboot? Now that Shelf Factory is releasing the Blu-rays and the DVDs, any possibility that more could be put into production? Well, to quote Justin Bieber, never say never. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot!